settling the debate as to whether a survey, an archaeological of India carried out survey would be conducted at the site of Gyan Vyapi or not, the Allahabad High Court has now settled the debate clearly ruling in favour of the Hindu side saying that an uh, archaeological survey of India survey at the Gyan Vyapi site is something that is uh, in the interest of justice and is the need of the hour. The High Court has pronounced its verdict today after hearing a petition by the Muslim side, the Anjuman Intazamiya Masjid Committee, clearly opposing to uh, a survey being carried out of the Gyan Vyapi site. And uh, now the, the Allahabad High Court has ruled in the favour of the Hindu side, accepting their arguments that a survey can be allowed at any point of time. Remember that the Muslim side had continuously argued that as per Section 75 of the CPC, that is the Code of Civil Procedure, the a survey can only be carried out, a scientific investigation can only be carried out and ordered by a court only when it's not satisfied with the oral evidence in this case. However, the court has dubbed all of those arguments and said that the ASI survey is something that is in the interest of justice. Now, the another concern that the Muslim side had raised before the Allahabad High Court was of the damage of the particle structure being caused. If at all a survey is conducted there, they feared that a Babri-like incident could actually repeat at the Gyanvapi side, but all of that is dubbed down by the Archaeological Survey of India's undertaking by way on, of an affidavit where the Archaeological Survey of India has stated very, very clearly and categorically that no kind of a damage to any structure would be done. In fact, the fear of, you know, destruction should not have been there because instead of destroying uh, the particular artifact, the ASI would actually preserve those artifacts and uh, no not even a single stone or a brick would be removed from that particular structure though dating exercises would be carried out though a GPR survey would also be carried out and not only that but techniques like the GPS survey would also be carried out to map that particular area to carry out that particular survey and uh, um, in fact photography would also be done at that particular site in order to carry out this particular survey by the ASI which is the competent body to conduct such kind of surveys and has been you know the custodian of the monuments and uh, in fact the historical places and had been carrying out these surveys for uh, almost ages now since its inception in fact it also goes on to say that it's the competent body and has the professional experience to do so as well now the next big question that emerges out is that whether the, the ASI survey would actually be carried out or whether the Muslim side would now be knocking the doors of the topmost court of the country, that is the apex court. Uh, and uh, what we've been told by our sources is that, you know, they will be deciding upon that only after the full judgment copy comes out of, in the picture and then the reasonings actually come out as to why a ASI survey has been ordered by the Allahabad High Court Chief Justice. And uh, then the Muslim side would be deciding upon their, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the legal strategy but at the very same point the Hindu side is in rejoice we've seen how Shankanads and uh, the chants of Om Namah Shivai had been uh, coming out from Varanasi from the Allahabad High Court after the verdict had come in the favor of the Hindu side in fact uh, Mr. Vishnu Shankar Jain representing the Hindu petitioners into this particular case has also pointed it out to us very very clearly that if at all the Muslim side moves the Supreme Court they will be there opposing any argument given out by the Muslim side and clearly saying that the Allahabad High Court has paved the way for an archaeological, uh, archaeological survey of India's survey at this particular site. So now, whether or not the survey would be carried out or not is something that we'll get to know in a short while from now. We'll get to know whether the matter reaches the top of the country or not. All these questions would then be answered now. But the big question that would be answered after the ASI survey would be whether the, uh, the temple or the mosque that exists were they of the same period, whether Aurangzeb raised that temple and then built that mosque or the mosque was there since the inception. All these questions can only be answered by a scientific investigation and that has been paved way by the Allahabad High Court itself. I am Anir Bhatnagar with Peter Journalist Ramesh from the National Capital. Chief Justice Saab ne kaha hai ki ASI ne affidavit file kiya hai aur us affidavit ke compliance mein Jho likhi te affidavit diya gaya hai? Ji, us affidavit ke compliance mein survey kiya jaye साथ ही साथ उन्होंने कहा कि जब एसआई ने एफिडेविट दिया है तो कोई मतलब नहीं है उसको डाउट करने का और जो एसआई ने एफिडेविट दिया उसके कंप्लायंस में ये पूरा सर्वे किया जाए डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट का फैसला तत्काल प्रभाव से प्रभावी हो चुका है ये भी आदेश में हुआ और सिविल सूट जल्दी से जल्दी डिसाइड किया जाए इसमें कोई एडजमेंट ना हो ये भी कोर्ट ने आदेश पर हाईकोर्ट ने ये कहा कि जितने हमने केस लॉस दिखाए थे लीगल पोजिशन यही है कि ASI सर्वे 
किसी भी स्टेज पे हो सकता है उच्च न्यायालय के आदेश का हृदय से स्वागत करता हूं और मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि एएसआई के सर्वे के माध्यम से सच्चाई बाहर आएगी और ज्ञानव्यापी का जो विवाद है श्री राम जन्मभूमि विवाद की तरह इसका भी निर्णय होगा निस्तारण होगा और शिव भक्तों की जो मनोभावना है मनोकामना है वो पूर्ण होगी